guys and welcome to Feywood. So for Halloween I thought it would be fun to literally melt on camera. No, I'm joking. Um, it's just so stinking hot here in Australia today so I have got the aircon on and you probably can hear a little bit of that in the background but I need to live so it's got to stay on. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I was trying to frame up the shot to kind of show my hat and I've realized it looks a little weirdly set up now that I see myself like all the way down here and this hat so um I don't know <laughs> we're gonna go with it for now and I'll work that out in a minute I'm like I'm down here somewhere um maybe I maybe if I zoom you in a little hmm all right I don't know that that will have to do I I don't know every time I put this hat on I'm like oh you need to see the hat but like literally to see the hat I've got to frame you up really strangely so I'll zoom me back out for a minute Ugh. we seem to be having some technical difficulties here in Feywood <sighs> I think the heat has finally melted my brain I I was trying to prepare for this video and I kept like going, oh yeah, I must go get XYZ. I'd go over to where that was, grab something else that I realized I should grab, and then totally forgot to get the thing that I went over there for in the first place. And I've done that so many times today that I'm really just starting to think I'm, I'm getting a bit of Alzheimer's or something. Um, I'm, I'm quite concerned about the heat <laughs> affecting my brain cells. Um, what little I have. But uh, anyway, I thought it'd be fun to do a Halloween face painting video. Um, I have probably mentioned I used to do face painting and this is my old trusty face painting book. One of my very first jobs was as a face painter um, for kids parties and I used to do also face painting for the school, for the fates. Um, I used to sometimes do some markets and things like that. I'm a little out of practice to what I used to be for face painting, to be fair. Um, but I w wanted to sort of recreate one of the spooky ones that I used to do. And I was going through and I was like, oh, I'm sure I drew a picture of them. Because, like, <laughs> this is a really old book, so you have to forgive my little sketches and things. But, like, I have it in sections. So I've got, like, a spooky section. I've got, like, ugh. I've got like an animal section um, and then I think I've got a clown section. I do remember most of the parties though when, when you do a, a kids party and you go these are the faces you can choose from. Always they wanted something else. Always. There was always someone and it was always these weird things. I had a whole party of kids that wanted a flag painted on their cheek. I don't know why. It was just, I think, like, the first kid asked for it and everyone else was like, oh, flag, yeah, give me a flag. No flag in particular, just, like, a flag of any description. So, um, I think I just plain, painted, like, a plain flag on with a flagpole on everyone's cheek and they were happy. Um, a little weird, but... <laughs> So anyway, I'll, I'll quickly flick through some of the sketches I had for the like the, the spooky ones. Now I I wasn't trained. Um, I just sort of was always a creative person and enjoyed doing face painting and stuff like that. Like so, I'm not like these aren't. I'm just trying to say these aren't fantastic. <laughs> and I did them when I was in high school. So, um, but like you know. Spooky ones, witchy ones, like a, um, I'm gonna have to stand up and do this, um, like a devil one, your pumpkin, your evil queen, your skull, you know, you wanted them to be quite simple because this was for, um, when I was doing kids parties, so, you know, you had limited time to do people's face painting, so they're not elaborate, um, as you can see. And, but the thing is, when I was at high school, I was known for this one type of face paint that every single person wanted. 
Um, and I thought I had a sketch of it, and maybe I did at one point, but I must have taken it out and I don't have it anymore. But basically I did this sort of Halloween-y scene where it was, um, you know, white face, big tree sort of arching over the face. Um, there was like a graveyard and bats. Um, and I used to paint eyes on people's eyelids as well so that, you know, it was creepy when you closed your eyes and looked like you were still looking at someone. Um, I'm not going to do that part today because it's really hard to do that to yourself. Um, but I thought I could maybe do some sort of Halloween-y scene on my face and see how that comes out. Um, and I'll have to try and remember what on earth I used to do because like I don't have a picture of it anymore. This was like back in the good old days when we didn't have mobile phones to take selfies of all our friends when we did things like face painting. So <laughs> um, I don't have a photo of what I did either so not even I have any record of what I did. Um, but who cares? Let's just have fun. So I'll probably have to um, zoom you in at this point so we can see what's going on. Um, oh, seems to be a bit of blue in here from when I did the White Walker. I'll try and clean that up a bit. So yeah, anyway, um, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder to make sure I'm framed up and you can see what the hell I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I really don't. I have not, I haven't done a practice run or any of that um, and yeah so we're just gonna we're just gonna run with it and hope that it looks alright and if it doesn't you can all just have a giggle at the travesty on my face <laughs> afterwards if that's the way it goes um, yeah so anyway I thought I'll chat as well because like you know when don't I chat um, it's actually Halloween here today in Australia and it's at the daytime at the moment, so it's not Halloween night or anything like that. I'm just going to try and do this so you can still see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so it's Halloween here today. Uh, and for you guys, when you see this, it'll be Halloween, if I get this edited in time. If you're seeing this after Halloween, you'll know what happened. Um, and yeah, what are my plans for Halloween? Painting my face and editing. Woohoo! Party on! Um, yeah, we don't have any plans. Uh, I, some people in Australia do uh, Halloween parties and stuff. It's not a big, it's not as big as in the States. Like, you guys go all out. Pretty much, it seems like most people at least decorate or get right into it. And I would love to do that. But it is a bit of a one, one man show because like we're in the middle of nowhere. We're not really like we're, <laughs> I say that, and um, you know we are tucked away. We do back onto a national park and stuff, so we're not like in a busy area, and we're in a forested area and stuff like that. So, um, but <laughs> but we do have facilities nearby. We're not like isolated or any of that sort of thing. Like. Um, you know, it's only a couple of kilometers to, to the train and stuff like that, but what I'm trying to say is we're, we don't get any uh, door knockers here because this would be a long way out of your way to come and get some candy. Um, there are a few houses like on the street, you know, down the street and uh, a couple of streets nearby, so like, I mean if some local kids wanted to do it, like they could. Uh, I don't even know what the protocol around here is if people put out some sort of decoration to kind of hint that they're they're doing it and it seems like um, certain areas in Melbourne that have more kids um, of, a, of an age to kind of go trick-or-treating you will see pockets of areas that will do it um, but yeah, but it's not it's not as big. It's not like when you if you if we drove around tonight to have a look and see what's happening, you 
probably not that likely to see that many trick-or-treaters if any you, you might see some and some people have like Halloween parties and stuff but yeah it just hasn't taken off here at this stage um, I don't know I think there's this sort of thought in Australia that you know it's it's not it's not an Australian holiday we'd feel just like we're just trying to copy I guess um, and so, you know, that's the impression that a lot of people have with Halloween. So they're like, well, why would we do Halloween? It's not, it's not an Australian tradition. But then again, neither is Christmas didn't come from, like, Christmas was around before us. I, the only holiday that's, like, that I can think of that's, that was created in Australia was Australia Day. And that's a bit of a contentious holiday anyway so um for reasons i won't get into right now but um basically a lot of people are sort of like oh well i don't want to do halloween because it's it's not australian me personally i think it it seems like a lot of fun and it's something that's celebrated by so many different cultures that I, I don't see why it's not something that we could do as well, you know, like there could be an Australian version of it, you know? Uh, Alright, so I have got my Diamond FX face paint here, uh, so I think I think I will go in with the black. I wasn't sure, I've brought out a few like makeup items, like um, different eyeliners and stuff like that I thought I could use, but I might use this one because I'm going to need a fair bit of the black, so I might as well go in with that. And I'm going to try and do, um, like start the tree, I think, mm, I don't know, I think maybe the tree on this side going over here, and then, um, you know, some hills and things which will be my cemetery, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, now it just looks like I'm painting some sort of new age beard on myself. <laughs> I think I need some white. I need, uh, which I don't have a lot of white of this. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this yet. Hopefully, hmm. I might need to get a bit creative with this. I might actually need to buy some more white face paint if I'm going to do any more of these tutorial things. But let's see how we go. I need some depth of um, shadow, like really just black and white at the moment. I need some gradients of like greys and stuff in there. My camera does not want to focus on me for this, so I don't think it recognizes me as a face anymore, <laughs> which, I mean, I'm flattered, but <laughs> come on, focus, focus. I'm going to try and do some um, hills in the back background on my cheek here. Actually, I'll turn around this way and I'm going to hope to God that camera stays in focus because it's really annoying. So I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm running out of white paint, so I'm going to try this sort of lighter, it's not quite white, but it's nearly white from my little uh, naked mini palette. And I just wanted to put some more shading over here. Um, I have some more detail I want to put, and if everything's too dark, you're not going to see it. So I don't know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around, I'm not exactly sure how I'm doing this yet, so we'll see. Alright, 
I don't know if I'm happy with this or not, but I am going to start putting some tombstones in and I'm hoping once I start doing that that I will start to like it. Um, I might put a little house up there too, I don't know, or a churchy thing. We'll see how this goes on um, and what happens. Well, it is a lot harder to paint this on yourself than somebody else. Um, <laughs> I, I did paint this on myself once, I think when I was first working out the design and then after that I kept painting it on everybody else. And of course, you know, when you start getting around here in the ear and you're trying to like use the mirror side eye and also try and be on frame of the camera, it's a little challenging. So. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, it's not my best work, um, but I don't have a million years to try and perfect it and it's a bit difficult in, in camera um, as well to kind of get in there with the details. So I don't know. It's okay. I'm going to try and put some bats um, up here somewhere, I think. Uh, maybe a moon. I'm not sure. Um, I'll put some other details anyway and we'll see how that starts looking. not my best work but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is do my lips do something or other with the eyes and finish it at that Alright guys, well that's the finished look. Um, as I say, not my best work, but not too bad. Um, I feel like it's it works together and I decided to go with a bit of a um, slight skeleton glam part underneath as well. I did the nose thing and just some like dark eye sockets. Not to look exactly like a skeleton, but just to hint at it because um, I didn't want to sort of take away from everything else that was going on. Tiny bit of colour on the lips, just went for like a lime crime, um, posh and diamond crusher lime crime thing on top, just to give a bit of sparkle. Um, 
I used a little bit of the pinky rose glitter, but I forgot how much of a black base that has, so it kind of went over the top of the eyeshadow that I did. Um, but it adds a little sparkle, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, not too bad. I had a bit of fallout, uh, which was tricky, because it's still quite grabby, even though I did try and set. Um, so I used, like, the clown white, um, the, the Meron clown white and then set that or tried to set it with just this elf translucent powder and it sets sort of but it's like still a little tacky so enough that if something falls down you can't nicely brush it away which is a real pain so um but yeah i hope you guys like the finished look um just a bit of a throwback for me at least like you guys haven't seen this but this is something that I used to do probably a lot better than this um, and and it did have the eyes like I mentioned on the eyelids um, and I just I can't remember the exact composition but I do remember there being some sort of hill and you know um, tombstones and stuff like that somewhere I'm pretty sure I had a moon usually as well um, I don't think I did the tree this big when I used to do it but I quite, quite liked that look of it sort of taking over the face um, and then enjoyed having a bit of a smoky slash skeleton eye, <laughs> um, bit of liner and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed sitting with me and doing playing around with some face painting. Maybe this has inspired you for something similar to this for a Halloween thing. Um, maybe you're like me and you don't have any Halloween plans, so um, you can just sit with me and watch me play around with makeup. Um, I have no plans other than trying to decide whether to leave this makeup on and scare my husband when he gets home and, and edit this for you guys so that you can see it hopefully on Halloween. Um, anyway, I better leave it at that because I don't know how long this video will be. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to see more from me, there is some costume stuff coming up soon. Um, there's a pile of pieces, pattern pieces sitting over here in the corner. And I mean, if that's not scary for Halloween, I don't know what is. Um, I'm going to try and tackle that tomorrow. So stay tuned for one of those videos coming as soon as something comes of that pile of mess over there. Uh, anyway, and I'll see the rest of you next time in Faywood. Bye, guys.